हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम दिस इज मी डॉक्टर जहांगीर एंड यू आर वाचिंग मी ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज डॉक्टर जहांगीर खान विल आई हैव स्टार्टेड वीडियोस ऑन अ चेस्ट एक्सरे टिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड ओनली सिंगल वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द चेस्ट एक्सरे टुडे इज द सेकंड लेक्चर रिगार्डिंग द एक्सरे एंड इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट द प्रीलिमिनरीज we must know about the four things before going into the actual pathology of x-ray and these four things were ripe rotation inspiration penetration and exposure if an x-ray fulfill all these four criteria then the next thing is to find out the pathology and describe the pathology what we do we directly go toward the pathology and we do not apply the uh, x-ray quality criteria so we are describing a poor quality film and describing a pathology which in fact never existed in the patient but that pathology was because of the poor quality of the film so make sure whenever you are going to 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 interpret an x-ray apply that criteria which criteria the criteria covered by me in the previous lecture the right criteria they describe the quality of the x-ray if the quality of the x-ray is good only then you move toward the so after applying the basic criteria of the quality of the x-ray now moving toward the pathology which pathology can you expect in a case of x-ray the answer is either the pathology is white or the pathology is black either the pathology is white or the pathology is black the white pathology is called opacity and the black pathology is called hyperlucency that is hyperlucency so before explaining the pathology we must know about the location of pathology now this is very important aspect regarding the radiology of the chest you must know about the location the location of a lesion is mandatory because each and every disease manifest itself in a specific pattern and in a specific location so the first thing is location so what are the locations that are possible in case of the of the chest so we are having a central location if it is near the heart this is called central lesion or central pathology this is also known as perihilar because the hilum exists over there so the central this is the central and this is peripheral this pathology is actually peripheral this is peripheral so you are having a pathology that is central or peripheral central peripheral now this is very really important because if a patient is having central pathology in patient is having cardiomegaly and there is uh, opacity predominantly centrally by later in there is a cardiomegaly and the patient is having a history of mi 4 years back and the patient is having dyspnea paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea and the patient is also having pedal edema the answer is ccf acute pulmonary edema ccf acute pulmonary edema there is actually uh, a case of pulmonary edema that is ccf so if a patient is having uh, opacity peripherally that is pleural based sparing the central zone what is the most likely diagnosis if a patient is having high grade fever or low grade fever without any other focus and the patient is having cough and the patient is not maintaining saturation the diagnosis is covid pneumonia the diagnosis is covid pneumonia the diagnosis is covid pneumonia so if you know the location of the lesion it will tell you the diagnosis what is the name of this location this is basal basal and this is apical 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 basal central peripheral central peripheral a patient is having bilateral opacities uh, in the lower zones sparing the cp angle sparing the cp angle and the patient is having exertional dyspnea for the last 8 years with the history of a dry cup and the patient is clubbed what is diagnosis the answer is ipf 
the answer is IPF, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. A patient is a known case of uh, ischemic heart disease for the last four years and now presented with dyspnea on a chest x-ray. There were bilateral opacities in the lower zones involving the CP angle. The CP angle are blunted. Diagnosis is bilateral, bilateral pleural effusion. Bilateral pleural effusion. So the location of the lesion is very important. Well, today's discussion is regarding the location of a lesion. If you can locate the lesion properly, you can diagnose the case very quickly. And if you can diagnose the case, you can treat the case. So a, a patient is a diagnosed case of HIV and CD4 count is less than 200. And the patient is having cough and fever for the last four days. The x-ray was done, that shows bilateral opacities predominantly centrally or in the perihilar region. The, the, the central region or the perihilar region because there exists the hilum, there is the hilum. So the, the distribution of a lesion around the hilum in a, in a patient of HIV and a patient is having cough and fever, the answer is pneumocystis. Pneumocystis pneumonia, pneumocystis gerovisi, or pneumocystis kirinae pneumonia. So the, 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 you, you see the, the, the location, you see the location of the lesion is very important in, in, in terms of diagnosis. A young female, 23 years old, young female married for the last five years and she is on OCP. She presented to the ER with the chief complaint of chest pain Oxygen saturation is 86%. And on a chest x-ray, there is opacity. There is opacity that is plural based on the right middle zone. And that is extending from periphery toward the center and making a V-shaped structure. What is your diagnosis? The answer is pulmonary embolism. The answer is pulmonary embolism. So the location of the lesion is always and always diagnostic is almost always diagnostic. A 35 year old female with a history of weight loss presented with the chief complaint of fever night sweats for the last one month. The weight loss is significant and on x-ray there are bilateral apical opacities. What is your diagnosis? The answer is TB. The answer is TB. The answer is TB. So just on the location of the lesion, you can diagnose the TB, you can diagnose acute pulmonary edema, you can diagnose CCF, you can diagnose pneumocystis pneumonia, you can diagnose COVID pneumonia, you can diagnose IPF, and you can diagnose a case of pleural effusion as well. Now coming toward how would you describe the pathology? So the pathology is either opaque or there is hyperlucent area. So how would you describe an x-ray uh, from exam point of view? So this is the chest x-ray, digital chest x-ray of the patient XYZ, which was done on 11th of April 2021. Now, comment on the quality of the x-ray. The quality of the x-ray is satisfactory regarding rotation, inspiration, penetration, and exposure. Now, if, if there is something, uh, some problem in the quality, you come in directly the film is rotated. So if the film is rotated, you cannot comment on, comment on the, bio, the, the, the cardiac shadows. You cannot comment on the cardiac shadow. You cannot comment on the lymph nodes, hyalur lymphadenopathy. So that is excluded directly from the description. So the quality of the chest x-ray is for me is satisfactory. And there is, let's suppose we explain this x-ray. And there is plural based opacity that extends from periphery and the right side and the right side extends from periphery toward the mid zone forming a witch shaped structure sparing the, the the lower zone sparing the central zone sparing the upper zone most probably this is the hamptons hump this is the hamptons hump seen in the pulmonary infarction similarly uh, you can explain the other opacities most of the x-ray they, they 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 keep in the exam they are usually of of tv 
are of nowadays the COVID pneumonia. So there are plural based opacities bilaterally that extend from periphery toward the center, sparing the apical zone, the central zone, the, the basal zone. And the CP angle is clearly visible. And the CP angle is clearly visible. Keeping in view the current pandemic, the X-ray is highly suggestive of COVID pneumonia. So they will they will keep an X-ray, and they will ask you what are the three the three findings in it. So there is a, a, a opacity in the right upper zone or middle zone and or lower zone, and that opacity is making any shape or not. Whether there is a spherical, cylindrical, uh, which shaped or if there are only reticulonodular shadows. In most of the X-rays, they are usually bilateral, ill-defined infiltrates involving the upper zone or the middle zone or the lower zone. So this is how you describe the location of the legion. And this is how you describe the legion by itself. So if you can comment on the quality of the X-ray and you can comment on the legion, whether these are the cystic areas. So if these are the cystic areas, these are the areas of the hyperlucent areas, multiple, bilateral, involving the upper zones, middle zone, lower zone, near towards periphery, near towards the center. And uh, you have to comment on the lung volume also as well. So uh, the Diagnosis is either uh, acute infective etiology or it is a chronic problem. So you can pick from that. So the, 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 that's the end of the lecture. And the purpose was to how do you define the location of a legion and uh, how do you define a legion uh, by itself. So thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe my channel and also share.